Craft and Create. Today I am blinging out alphabets and this is what it looks like. But I think it's about three to four inches long. It's real big. And what I did was I colored this particular letter. This was actually a wood piece. And I actually painted it in green tea and I used the Ceram Coat by Delta Creative. Ceram Coat by Delta Creative. And the color is green tea, number 02584. It's acrylic paint. And I also, once I painted this, I um, let it dry. It didn't take long to dry. I applied what's called the uh, clear acrylic high gloss coating it's by treehouse studio and i i got this from uh hobby lobby it was 6.99 at hobby lobby and i will put all of this in the description below but this particular i sprayed this to get the shine that you see and i'm not sure if you could see the shine um, so that the alphabet would not be dull or matte finish. So what do you do is I took some flat back rhinestones. These are the flat backs that I'm using. This is the particular rhinestones that I'm using and it's called In Bloom. And I think it's the Hobby Lobby brand. It's the bead design. Um, it says it's $15.99 a pack, but you have the 40% off Hobby Lobby coupon. And I think I purchased these. I've had these for a while. I think I purchased these not even with the 40% off coupon. I think these were like 50% off on sale. So I just got the big bucket of different size flatback rhinestones. So that's what I'll be using. I'll also be using some Nouveau Glitter. It's called Silver Tinsel. It's the Pure Sheen Glitter um, by Nouveau. And that's what we're going to use. I'm also using my Pick Me Up Tool by Silhouette. So also to put the, the letters on, I am going to use the tacky glue, um, Aline's tacky glue, for, to put the actual rhinestones on, not the letters on. And then to put the glitter on, I just used um, a measuring spoon and I took the end of my um, pick me up tool and I just kind of laid it out all over. And then once I do that, I take my brush and brush it off of the glitter and that gives it a paved look. I only do that on the bottom part of the alphabet. Let me show you what the V looks like. This is one that's complete with the out with the rhinestones. This is the letter V. You do the pave part at the bottom and then you kind of stagger your rhinestones throughout the alphabet. And this is a project that I am working on for my niece. She's having a baby girl and her name is going to be Ava. And this is what she's work that what I'm working on for her. So I just wanted to show you guys how I go about doing this. I'm going to take my pick me up tool and I'm just going to kind of stagger these rhinestones all over the bottom of this letter A. You pick up your rhinestone, squirt out a piece of glue, I mean a dab of glue, and you stick it on the bottom here. Take a different size dab. And this tacky glue is the best glue to use. I would not use um, I would not use hot glue because hot glue, um, they may pop off. So you want to line them up different sizes. 
here. And basically this is what you're going to do um, with this. Just keep going until you have the bottom half of your A done all the way up to here. So now I gotta fish out some more um, rhinestone flatbacks. I need some smaller ones. Um, that's the most time consuming part is fishing out your flatbacks. So um, excuse the noise in the background. If you hear anything in the background, my kids are roaming the house. And I have asked them to be quiet. But, of course, they're running around. My son is a YouTuber, and most of all, he should understand, because he records. So, um, Mr. Smash Master KJ, sometimes I have to remind him that. Okay, so now we fished out a few of the smaller rhinestones. So let's put those on with your tacky glue. You don't need a lot of the tacky glue, but you do need enough because what you want to do is you want to leave, I don't know if you can see that, but you want to leave like glue dabbed out around your rhinestones because that's where you're going to pour your glitter on and the, gl the glitter will stick to that excess glue so you definitely want to put more than enough always also i learned by trial and error spray your board your letters or your wood piece or whatever you're going to use spray it paint it and spray it first um because i learned uh, through trial and error that if you spray it with the uh, gloss adhesive if you spray that on it after you place your rhinestones, your rhinestones will, um, I don't know, they turn kind of like matte looking. They'll get that matte look finish instead of a gloss or a shine, should I say, with rhinestones. And you don't want your rhinestones to have like a gloss. It, it sort of looks like a headlight on an old car. Um... You know, when headlights get old, they start to get um, foggy looking, and that's the way it looks. And then, um, once you get a good bit on, what you want to do is you want to pour your glitter. you kind of just putting your rhinestones on random, um, mixing them up randomly to give it that paved look. But you don't want to wait too long because if you wait too long, your glue will dry and you will not be able to pour your glitter to give it that pave effect and you just keep doing this and doing this um, and I'm not going to make you guys sit through all this but I'm just going to show you a few steps now I'm going to put my glitter on if I can hold on to my um, tool 
Maybe I can get my other one. Okay, so now that I've had, I have my rhinestones laid down, I have some excess glue. So what I do is I rake out of the, the measuring spoon my glitter on top of the rhinestones and it falls down in the cracks. So then you don't want to ever blow it because it'll go everywhere. So what you want to do is you want to take you a brush, soft brush, soft bristle brush, and you just want to lightly, lightly go over it. Go over your rhinestones. And if you see some areas, just kind of brush it back over it until they are covered. But what you want to do is kind of lightly brush off your glitter the excess glitter off of your rhinestone and you have to clean your brush every now and again because the glitter will get up the glue will get on it with the glitter so I just brush it off and I just brush mine to the side my extra glitter and I brush it back down into my spoon my measuring spoon just like that and I keep going until it's complete so so guys, here's the finished product. I hope you all like the video. It's very short and sweet. This is a simple, easy project. All you need is some wooden letters um, and some pearls or either some rhinestone flatbacks. And it's simple. You need some acrylic paint and some gloss spray to sheen it up and shine that, so that it can have a shine. But otherwise, and also you're going to need your taggy glue um, and something to actually put your rhinestones on with, a brush. And I will put all of this information down in the description below. But this is a quick, simple project. And this is for Miss Ava. Um, she's due to be born in the end of April. So she's going to be arriving pretty soon. Um... So, with that being said, I hope you subscribe to the channel. Press the notification bell if you haven't already so that you can get future videos. And have a good day, y'all. Love you guys. Bye.